today boys today is truly an historical day for the first time i think possibly ever on this channel we are gonna get an opportunity to watch a female get a nice good dose of equality and that right there is something i don't know if i've ever been able to say on this channel over the years of me making videos on this channel we consistently see females do things that men could never do and get away with it so let me go ahead and break this one down for you boys recently there was a tiktoker that goes by the name of kylie strickland and she actually had about 260,000 followers on tiktok when this whole situation happened i actually was looking for her tiktok but i wasn't able to find it i know she made it private after this entire situation became very public but i'm not sure if she deleted it or not all i know is i was not able to find it whatsoever but she had about 260,000 tiktok followers like i said when this entire situation initially happened so here is what happened and kylie actually explains this a little bit better in an apology video that she made that we will go ahead and check out in a moment but essentially what happened kylie the trailer trash hick that she is was chilling in a pool with a bunch of young boys i think they were like 11 12 maybe 13 years old at the absolute most and apparently these boys had been drinking and doing all sorts of stuff throughout the day at that pool party or whatever they were doing and kylie for whatever reason decided that you know what i'm gonna whip my titties out i'm gonna pull my titties out for these young boys while i'm live streaming on tiktok and it's gonna be super funny and unfortunately it wasn't funny there was really nothing funny about the whole situation i could say probably the funniest thing that i saw in that entire video of kylie showing her titties was how unimpressed those young boys actually were as a matter of fact they seemed almost disappointed so let's really quickly go ahead and check out this video you know the visual evidence of kylie strickland whipping out her titties for a bunch of middle school boys having fun are y'all having fun fun enough to see titties <laughs> you want to see titties bottles up let's make sure i'm going in here yeah all right you ready <laughs> oh my god he's like no he's in charge he's in charge Titties, so many times seen my titties. Probably, yeah. Ha ha ha, oh my gosh guys, it's no big deal. This little boy has seen my titties so many times, there's no reason to even trip over it. Well, you see Kylie in normal parts of the United States where we have hills and not everything is flat. We don't fuck our cousins and show young children our body parts. That's not a normal thing in our day-to-day -day lives. It might be for you, but fortunately for me, it's not normal. And for most people, that's just not normal. And quite frankly, that's just really not that funny. It might be funny when you are the 13-year-old boy but when you're a 30 year old adult it's not normal to think it's funny to whip your fucking titties out i'm not entirely sure what kylie thought was gonna happen when she did this on live stream usually when you do something like this you expect it to blow up so you can get attention but in this situation usually you wouldn't want this to blow up but unfortunately for kylie it did blow up and people were not very happy as a matter of fact people were so unhappy about this situation that they decided to call the local police department in the area that kylie lives in now before the police were actually able to get to kylie and make an official arrest on her she did go ahead and live stream herself actually talking about this situation i believe a couple of times i don't know how long she was free before the cops came and actually arrested her but from what i could tell it didn't seem to happen very quickly but nonetheless she live streamed herself talking about the situation and let me tell you boys the stuff she says in this live stream makes her look so much worse i just know her lawyer be watching these live stream clips absolutely crumbling in his chair because he knows this bitch is fucked so let's go ahead and check out a couple of things that she said during some of her live streams <coughs> Those little boys, 
have seen more boobs than uh, than I've I've probably seen in in my entire life. Um, they were also taking shots of tequila before I even got to the pool um, <clears throat> that night. Um, it is not my responsibility to parent someone else's child if the parent is right there. Those kids go to mud rides. God damn, this bitch is high as fuck. Look at the way she is looking all over the camera. She's looking just about everywhere except for at the camera. I don't know what she's looking for, but something tells me that she's looking for the power to get herself through this bullshit ass lie. I love how she just sat down and instantly made the whole situation so much worse. She was all like, those boys have seen more titties than I've seen in my entire life. Life. Like, yeah, of course you would fucking know that. You're the one showing them to them. Then she want to go, those boys were drinking tequila before I even got there. So now you're admitting that not only were you showing your titties to young boys, but you're showing your titties to young, drunk, underage boys. I mean, honestly, Kylie, shout out to you for making the prosecutor's job that much easier. You basically just sat down and gave them that much more of a reason to put your ass in jail and hopefully that's exactly what they're going to do. Now, thankfully, while Kylie was on her little rampage of trying to prove why it was okay to do what she did, she actually allowed us to see just how fucking retarded the parents of these children actually are. So here is the messages between Kylie and presumably their dad. He says, what's up, blank? Just called me and blank. They was make sure we wasn't mad about you showing them boys your tits i told them heck no i ain't i'm proud of them so you cool with me then kylie responds and says i figured you didn't care but i just wanted to make sure probably shouldn't have done it blank 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 so that's my fault but i just wanted to make sure y'all wasn't upset about it then the dad responds and says nah you good somebody gonna get mad they had to pay to see and we can't see the rest of the message but i'm assuming he's just saying they're mad that they had to pay to see her tits and the boys got to see them for free now i just want to say really quickly no i didn't have a fucking aneurysm when i first started reading out those messages that is quite literally how he typed it out and i was just reading it as i was seeing it but holy fucking shit there must be something in these people's water that is making them actually fucking mentally ill because those messages were incredibly hard to read and this is coming from someone who does have a slang and definitely doesn't talk like most people those messages messages right there were just the byproduct of being dropped on your head as a child. There's no doubt in my mind. Now, I will say that there's no fucking way anybody was paying any sort of money to see Kylie Strickland's ugly fucking ass. I mean, here's a picture of her. I already showed a picture of her earlier, but good fucking Lord Jesus Christ, help me. There is actually no way. I understand our society is in a low point at the moment, giving these girls millions of dollars to show their pussy lips on the internet, but holy fuck, I actually can't believe that somebody would pay money to see Kylie Hickland of all fucking people. It sounds like to me that the dad is just trying to get himself some Kylie Strickland cheeks, so he's over here hyping her up. I don't know what dad would be okay with a 30-year-old woman drinking with my 13-year-old son in a pool and showing her titties off to him. To me, that's not okay. I mean, it's one thing if my son sees some titties on the TV screen, that's not a big deal when you're 13. But to have a grown woman showing her body off to young boys in a pool while they're also drinking, then going ahead, getting on live stream, sitting down and doubling down on what she did by saying it's normal for those kids, that's fucking weird. That's gross, bro. That right there just isn't normal. Thankfully, Kylie was actually arrested for what she did 
but she did bail out not too long later. I think she was arrested on a Friday, so she probably bailed out on a Monday. So she spent about three days in jail for this incident. But of course, this entire situation is not done yet. Things like this go on for months and months and months. As an example, your boy actually got arrested last summer, last July, a couple of days after his 20th birthday. And that entire situation finally got figured out, I'd say a couple of weeks ago. So it took an entire year for me to go through what I went through. I wouldn't be surprised if it took about that long for this whole Kylie Strickland situation to get figured out as well. But nonetheless, when it does get figured out, I will definitely keep you boys updated because personally, I'm pretty interested in the situation. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't think her TikTok is still up. I don't know if she took it down or if TikTok took it down, but nonetheless, it is gone. I would hope that TikTok took it down, but knowing TikTok, they absolutely love anything that has to do with minors. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with that platform, but nonetheless, boys, that is where I'm going to end the video. If you boys did enjoy the video, drop a like on the video, comment down in the comment section, help your boy get pushed deeper into people's recommended. Thank you so much to my members, JC and the Archive Guy. You boys are absolutely insane. Make sure you subscribe to my streaming channel if you haven't already. Your boy is trying super hard to go full time over here on YouTube by the end of next summer, so a year from now. So if you boys would like to help me do that, like I said, drop a like on the video, comment down in the comment section, and go subscribe to my streaming channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.